Today we are visiting Lucha Castle. Once upon a time, Lucha Castle overlooked the river Lucha, a rather important road and a fort across the aforementioned river. Now there are buildings in the way. This, of course, was all during the Norman invasion of Wales, but prior to the building of this castle, the Romans thought the river crossing important enough to build the fort of Lucurum. The castle sits on the corner of the former fort, and the fort now sits under the town of Lucha. Lucha Castle was built as an oval ringwork, possibly topped with wicker defences, around 1106 by the Anglo-Norman Lord Henry de Beaumont. The castle saw a number of battles and was burnt, probably during the Welsh Uprising of 1151. John de Breos acquired the castle in 1220 and added a less flammable stone curtain wall. In the latter half of the 13th century, the castle was reinforced with a stone tower. During the late medieval period, its importance waned and by the 19th century, the castle was in ruins and overgrown with ivy. So this behind me is the Mott, and the Mott is basically just a mound of earth. I know a Mott doesn't look overly impressive, but you have to admire the amount of work that must have gone into constructing it, because it's an awful lot of earth to move, and they wouldn't have had diggers and things like that. That was all manpower with primitive shovels and things like that. There must have been a team of men working. They probably even got slaves to do it for them, but whoever did construct these, that was an awful lot of work to get this up. And not only to build it up, but to make it sturdy enough to be able to build things on top of. You can also see that there are dinks out the hillside where they've obviously taken earth away to pile up up there and they just cut and fill so you've got staggered layers so that you have to kind of lurch up. But you've got clear sights over the surrounding hills, but you were surrounded by hills. So there were still plenty of places for enemy forces to hide. You can see to the estuary on one side and you've got a look over fields on the other side. But you also might be able to hear that it's next to a couple of fairly busy roads. So it's noisy, but you can still hear birdsong. So <laughs> that's what happens when the two worlds of nature and modern man meet. Now this whacking great big lump of rock here obviously wasn't originally here. It used to be part and parcel of the building, but it fell off. I'm not entirely sure why. Probably gravity. That has a tendency of making things fall down. Now the interesting thing about it is it's got part of a flight of stairs in it. It looks to me like the ceiling because they tended to build them in such a way so that it was a bit difficult to tell. But you wander around the other side and the question is answered because this side you can see does have steps and they're proper steps. So if these are the steps, the other side therefore must be the ceiling to another set of steps. Unless of course there were very clever people who, you know, could walk on ceilings. Can't see that happening somehow. We've got this interesting little chute thing here and I wonder if it's a waste chute because it goes all the way to the top of the tower and it doesn't look like it was a chimney so I'm going to go with waste. I could be wrong, it could be a murder hole, but I don't think so. It doesn't look murder holy enough. It looks more, you know, shooty, like a shoot. <laughs> you can say what you like about the Normans, and I'm sure that the Welsh probably did when the Normans were invading, but they really did know where to put a castle to get some absolutely cracking views. And those cracking views would still be cracking views had people not built houses in the way, which I can understand why they did, because chances are those houses now have cracking views. Let us not fool ourselves. This is not a big castle. Basically, there's the tower left and there's the mot, and I'm assuming that what surrounds it is probably a bailey, but it might not be. It might just be the mot. I'm not seeing any signs that sort of say to me, oh, look, that was definitely a bailey. The bailey being the big sort of surrounding bit. I mean, it could be here, but I can't see it. Anyway, it's not one of those places that you're gonna go and spend an entire day exploring, which is kind of handy for us because it means that we can, we can go on and look at something else. But it is worth coming and having a nose out because as a location, it's fantastic. You can still see for quite some distance, but not a massive castle. Yeah. So what do you think of Lucker Castle? I quite like the fact that there's a mot here 
and there's something on the mot because normally it's just a mot with nothing on it yeah and you know stuff <laughs> so you get a tower and a view rather than just a view a bit noisy because you're surrounded by roads but you know on a beautiful sunny day like today who's complaining apart I'm from us so. yes <laughs> who's complaining about the noise not us yes apart from us i think that's probably it from us here at lucker castle don't you i think so yes anyway uh don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and i shall see you next time ttfn